hey guys so today is December 2nd Ooh, I'm trying to get angles with this but um I always look so tired without makeup on but I am just going to get my nails done um, and then I need to go get an oil change because I haven't gotten one since I moved to Atlanta and I drove to Atlanta so I really need one it's been like two months um, people in Atlanta can't drive but whatever um yeah so I need to go get my nails done and then I need to go get the oil change then I need to go home and clean because I my apartment is a mess so yeah I usually go to soak and polish in Midtown but they're closed today so I'm going to just go to a random nail salon. Just I just need a fill in, and then I'll go back to them in two weeks. Um. So yeah, I think. So I filmed the cookie video yesterday, and I was gonna post that today for Vlogmas Day Two, but I think I'm gonna hold off and do it as Day Three. So if you guys hear me in the video saying, uh, you know, Day One or Day Two, it, it just ignore that because I filmed it on Day One. And I thought I might post it on day one, but then I decided not to. And then, since I have to work tomorrow, I think it'll be perfect to post while, you know, I'm at work. Because it's already done. And then, the days where I'm off work, I can film, like, vlog-style videos. And I think today I might film a makeup tutorial and the decorating video if I have time. It's already 12 o'clock. But yeah, I filmed both of those. And then this vlog, so then I have three videos and I might bring my laptop to work tomorrow so I can edit on my break. I think I might do that. Yeah. I think during Vlogmas I might have to just start bringing my laptop to work so that I can edit while I'm at work so that it's not so much, you know, for me when I get home. Because I do get home pretty late because I work an hour away from where I live. Um. But yeah. So we're just going to go to get our nails done. I might film in there, might not. I don't know how weird they are with that. And then, before I go get the oil change, I need to run home and I need to put clothes in the dryer and my comforter in the wash so that I'm not wasting any time. Cause the nail salon's like two minutes from my house, so. And then I gotta go find Jiffy Lube or whatever. Cause Pet Boys doesn't have any appointments available. So I'm just gonna go to Jiffy Lube. I don't know where that is, but I'll find it. Cause I know usually they do drive-ins, so yeah. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I get to the nail salon. The nail salon I'm going to, I came here once before. And yeah, I got my pedicure here. I never got my nails done here. So we'll see. It's just a regular, regular, schmegular nail salon. It's nothing fancy. I need to make some ziti or something for the week just so that I have something to eat while I'm at work because the days where I work I really don't want to spend money um you know it gets expensive so like eating out every day so oh ooh, I'm tired so I think today I'll just make some ziti so that I have it for the week What's today? I don't know what today is. Today is something. Someday. What day is today? Wednesday. And I gotta work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So. So yeah. So we're just gonna go to Walmart. Get some chiz. I think I have mozzarella. Yeah, I bought mozzarella because I was gonna make pizza last night and I didn't. Um. I just need some ricotta. I want to get ricotta, like the block of mozzarella, and the pasta. And I might need a little more sauce. And then that's it. Yeah. That's it. So let's go to Walmart, guys. Alright, so I'm back home. You look crazy. But 
I have stuff to do. Like you see all this laundry I just did. Um, yeah, I gotta put that away. I have to clean because it's a mess in here. Look at that. Like it's just a mess. So I gotta clean up, and then I also am going to just make the ziti. Like I said, I went to Walmart, just got some ziti for me. You know, just basic stuff, and then. I'm going to prep for my dinner. Well, prep for dinner, not my dinner. I'm not having enough dinner. But um, yeah. And I'm gonna just get something to drink. Let's see. Let's put this way. This is people come here and eat the nasty stuff. Leave it at my house. So I love these bottles. They're so cute, right? That one. And I have the rosé. And then I have this. So I don't know which one I'm going to drink. I'm going to drink one of them. Uh, are these all brewed? But this is Kava. Okay. Oh, no difference. Um, but yeah, I'm going to drink some of that. Something. Drink some of something and then while well, I put my stuff away and yeah, and then I'm gonna start my ziti. I gotta still decorate. Where is it? I don't know. The tree somewhere over there behind, side behind the box light. I gotta put the lights away too. It's just a mess. It's giving me anxiety. And before I go to work tomorrow, this place has to be clean because I can't have a long week with a messy house. I will go crazy. So yeah. Alright y'all. I got my sheet. Alright, let's see. Let's let's open this bad boy up. When I worked in a club, I hated when people ordered champagne because I hate opening champagne. It like it's just like opening a pack of biscuits. Like it has it gives me that same feeling. I hate it. It scares me. I don't know. All right, so I got this one. I need this to warm up a little bit because I just washed it and I don't want water in there. But I'm just gonna make my sauce. The sauce that I'm gonna use for my pizza and for my ziti. So first I'm gonna cook the um, meat in here and then I'm gonna remove the meat and then put the sauce in so that I don't cook meat with the sauce. You know, I'm gonna clean this out and then do the sauce. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, that's what I'm mm, show you. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, so I'm gonna throw this meat in her. Oh, I need some oil. Shoot. Oil the pan. Oil the pot. Toss in the meat. So 
that started cooking, I'm just season it up. There's some pepper. I use adobo and everything. So, ooh, it's getting foggy. We put some adobo. Some garlic powder. Oh, that was too much. Whatever. Over the wrong side of this. And some onion powder. Mm. Damn, I forgot ricotta. Whatever, I guess this won't have ricotta in it. Oh, you can make ricotta though. Oh, y'all, I'm going to make some homemade ricotta. Let's see how that works. All right, I'm gonna let this meat just cook down. And this is 80-20 because I want the fat, so yeah. Dang, I forgot, I can't believe I forgot ricotta. And I don't have a cheesecloth. We are gonna make do though. And even if I don't decorate my tree today, y'all, I have to do the outdoor lights, so. All right, let that cook. So I'm making the ricotta. Um, I poured a liter of milk. I don't know if I said this, my camera just cut off. I don't know what part I was at, but I put it on medium heat and it says it should take like 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna let it simmer and get to the consistency it needs to be. And I'll add some salt and then do everything else. All right, so this is done. I'm gonna put this into its own little bowl. It's like taco meat, but yeah. Yeah, you see all that fat? So I'm actually gonna, I'm actually not gonna do that. I'm gonna make the ziti sauce first and then I'll make the pizza sauce cause that's easier. Cause I wanna keep the fat in there for the ziti. So I'm just gonna add the sauce now and make the ziti. I lied to y'all, <laughs> my bad. Okay, so I have cans, like this is diced tomatoes. Um. This is, they're all 28 ounces, so I'm going to use half of each. Actually, I'm probably going to just use a quarter of the sauce because I really don't like tomato sauce. I like my sauce to be thick. And then the paste is six ounces, so I'll probably use about three ounces, and I'm going to put it all in there. But first, what I'm going to do is put the paste in there by itself and let it just thicken up in that. And then I will add the diced tomatoes and the whole peeled tomatoes. All right, so I just threw the paste in there. And I need to dice some onions up, so I'm gonna dice up some onions and toss them in there as well. I'm gonna turn this flame down, it's on medium. I'm gonna put it on low so nothing burns. And tomato paste just makes everything thicker. You see how, like, the fat is gone, like it absorbed all that fat. It's crazy. All right, let me dice up some, some, some onions. This thing is the best tool ever. Like, look, it just dices everything, chops it up. Ugh, love it. I do not like cutting onions. And this thing does it for me. It, they make me cr tear up way too much, so this is like the perfect tool for me. I had it on my Amazon wish list when I moved and my uncle got it for me. And it just dices everything up. Next I'm just going to add some garlic and let all this cook down for a few minutes. I should have done the onion and garlic before I did the meat, but I didn't plan on keeping the meat in there, so that's why I'm doing it backwards, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Mm. Oh, that was too much. Whatever. Like I said, it is what it is, okay? Turn this flame back up just a little bit. Oh, and I also use red wine in my sauces. I usually use bone marrow as well, but I don't have any, and I'm not going back to the store to get any, so... So I'm going to take some 
Chardonnay. Ooh. Mm. Like a cup, half a cup, I don't know, something. You know black people, when we cook, we don't know what things are. We just eyeball it, so. It almost looks like taco meat. I might just make all of this sauce and then make pizza sauce out of other sauce that I have. And then I can just freeze this for next time. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, another half a cup. Yeah, it's probably been like a cup. You see how it's just, because of the tomato paste, it's just absorbing everything. And I need it to be a little more watery. I'm gonna add a little more. And the alcohol cooks off, so kids can eat this too if you were wondering. All right. I'm gonna just let this cook for like five minutes. I'm just adding some salt to this. I'm gonna heavily salt it actually. It said stir with a wooden spoon, so that's what I'm gonna use. And then it says use lemon juice, but I don't feel like juicing any lemons, so I'm gonna use vinegar. Hello? Cooking. What are you doing? Working. Still? Ew. I know. I'm not staying until six tonight. Me seven tonight. I wouldn't either. I don't want to. I wouldn't either. I don't want to. Sounds like too much work. All right, let me call you back. Let me film this. Oh, sorry. I said you're good. It's bye. Alright, I'm gonna add some vinegar. Let's see, I hope that's enough. Mix it in a little bit. Maybe a little more. I don't have a cheesecloth though, that's the only issue. But y'all can see it's already separated. So I'm gonna turn the flame off and let that just do what it does. Bad y'all, I was not even recording. So I threw in the petite diced tomatoes to my sauce. Next, I'm gonna Throw in the whole tomatoes. I'm gonna throw in the whole peeled tomatoes. I have to put those lights up soon too, shoot. I'm just breaking up the tomatoes a little bit. Cause I like chunks of tomato in my sauce. I don't like it to be thin. That's why I use the petite diced and I use these. And to me, this sauce is already like saucy enough. Um, but I did open that can of tomato sauce, which I shouldn't have, but I'm just gonna use that for the pizza sauce. And then I'm gonna take, I think I have a small can of sauce. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the small one and put that in there, cause I don't need this big one. All right, so I already made a little bit of the ricotta. Um, I just wanted to figure it out before I showed you guys. 
So, as you know, I just added salt, vinegar. That's it. That's all that's in there. All right. So, this is the tray. You're supposed to use a cheesecloth, but I don't have one. So, move that over. I just use a napkin. And I picked it up by the bottom, like this, like on my bowl, so that I would cover it. Like this, you know. And then I just put some on top. So I just spoon some on top and now you see the napkins getting wet and I just wait a second because it's very really hot so I just wait a few seconds just so it can cool down so it doesn't burn my hand and then I pick it up like this and it's hot still remember that but if you have a cheesecloth this is so much easier so I'm just squeezing it with my hand like this so gently See, you gotta be gentle because I just broke that, but it's okay. And I just do And this ball right here is the one I just did on camera. That one right there. And I'm just gonna repeat this until all of this is gone. So I'll show you guys one more time and then you'll see the end result when I'm done. I can't get the camera to stand up though. I'm watching Aaliyah's face, but yeah, so there's the sauce. Oh, it's too. All right, so I'm gonna keep the top off now and let it cook down some because it's very watery. Ooh, I don't want it to pop me. Let me just let that cook down because it's so thin and I hate thin sauce. I love a thick sauce. So yeah, so we're just gonna let that cook down. Give it about five more minutes and let that cook down. And then I'm gonna put my pasta on right now. I'm gonna boil the water and start that. All right, so all these things gotta go on the hangers. And you're tearing up your toy on my couch. And why'd you bring a napkin on my couch? Nobody can see your face. You don't have a response? You don't care? You just tear shit up and don't care? Got you. Uh-uh, don't, nope, I'm not, uh-uh, no, mm -mm, we're not doing this. Mm -mm. I got stuff to do. All right. I'm just gonna start putting my clothes away. Uh. Alright, so there's the ziti. And I don't usually do this, but I buttered the pan just because it'd be easier. Um, let's move all this out of the way.
this is baking at 350 for I don't even know how long. It didn't even beep yet, but it's at 270, so I'm putting it in um, probably for like 20 to 30 minutes. Alright y'all, so I've had this chicken marinating for like a day, a day and a half, two days, something like, no, it's been since yesterday, what am I talking about, this has been since yesterday, um, so I'm just gonna bake it right now, I need to like finish this video so I can edit it tonight, but, uh, it's gonna fall, uh, it's gonna fall, uh, it's gonna fall, okay, ooh, it's a it's gonna fall. How do I? Ugh, I hate this tripod. Okay, let me move this over a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna. Okay, so this chicken is marinated in. What did I marinate this in? Oh, a cup of orange juice. A cup of Chardonnay, uh, garlic, garlic powder, and onion powder, and some adobo. That's it. So I let it marinate overnight. I'm going to season it a little more. Excuse me, doodle. Alright, so some basil. Ooh, that was too much because I took the top off, but it's okay. Because guess what? It won't matter. Some basil. Some pepper. And some adobo. Some adobo. Then I'm going to pour the rest of the stuff on it, the juice. That's why it doesn't matter, because once you pour the juice on, it doesn't matter. And this is going to cook down for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. But I know the chicken looks naked now, but just wait, just wait, y'all will see, just wait on it. Like, this piece looks super naked, but the rest don't. I don't know what happened to him, but whatever. Y'all might see this chicken in tomorrow's video because I'm getting tired and I just want to eat. So, yeah. Alright, so I made some rice. Oh, wow. Some rice. And then this chicken is almost done. I don't know if y'all can see it, but yeah, so it's not done yet, but I'm about to end this vlog here because I want to eat as soon as it's done and I need to edit this video, so yeah. Alright, have a good night, y'all. Enjoy Vlogmas Day 2!